Uh, she lasted 39 days stranded on an island, just one vote away from winning a million dollars. Hard to believe it was 14 years ago. So what is she up to now? You may be surprised. Tonight we take you inside the story with Dan Rascone. He's going to tell us about the Marquesas corn dog truck and more importantly, the owner of that truck, Dan. <laughs> That's right, Mark Chana. You know, it sounds a little odd from TV reality star to corn dog owner, but that's exactly what's happening. Uh, you know, America fell in love with sweet Nalia Dennis 14 years ago, so she didn't follow the crowd, she followed her heart. The battle of the food trucks is becoming big business in Utah. Each one serving up its own specialty dish. Have you ever been here before? Such is the case of this truck, often located along Antelope Drive in Syracuse. You want to find a mass appealing niche. Thanks. So that people, when they come to your trailer, they know what you're going to get. Do you want pepper jack? And here, you're going to get a corn dog, a fried pickle, or a fried candy bar. Simple. It's yummy. Yet very tasty. I like it. And they're really good. <laughs> but there is something else about this truck that sets it apart. Notice the name Marquesas. The same name as season four of CBS's hit show, Survivor, back in 2002. Marquesas Corn Dogs, named after Survivor Marquesas. And that's because the co-owner of this truck Hi. is the one and only Nalia Dennis. I was a fan favorite back then. Or Sweet Pea, as she was known 14 years ago. Our tribe was really strong, but I think just from being young and just kind of, you know, energetic, they, I got the name of Sweet Pea. Nalia was just 21 years old when she was stranded on an island to compete with 15 other contestants. The rules were simple, don't get voted off because the last one standing wins $1 million. Nalia lasted 39 days and won second place and was just one vote away from the million. Yeah, that really stinks now that I'm older. I just think of all those great things I could have used that money for. She's not just a reality TV star. She's She's a heart of gold. Chris Nielsen is Nalia's husband. You don't have to be out on the road. He's a former anchor and reporter. So how did a reality TV star and broadcaster end up with a corn dog truck? If you would have asked me even a year ago where I was going to be or if I was going to be in a corn dog trailer, I'd have said you were crazy. All right, guys, you are set. The truth is both Chris and Nalia have always wanted to do something with food and own their own business. That avenue turned out to be a corn dog trailer. And right Thank now, you. business is booming. Who doesn't love a good old fashioned corn dog? But it sells so well because it is, it's a comfort food. Where else can you get these? You know, people, people wait a whole year for the county fair to come back around. Do you like honey on that today? You'd Are think you after 14 years, Nalia would be a okay. thing of the past okay. with Survivor. Good. Thank you. But that's not the case. Time and time again, she's called away for charity and other events. Even after all these years, I've still been able to use that platform and doing good for so many different places. Nalia and Chris are now the parents of three kids, whose names are part of the menu, Kai, River, and McKay. But don't think this is the end of stardom for this couple, who are now planning to put so their River delicious corn dog adventures on YouTube. We have such an interesting life. I mean, my husband is a, I mean, he is a very witty, funny guy. We own a corn dog truck, like that's random enough as it is. And yes, you know, we could we could share our crazy life with so many people. Yeah, they do have a crazy life. Now originally the Nelsons say they were going to do a food truck with the Survivor theme, but decided to just go with the name of the show. And the competition is fierce out there. They say when they started a year ago, there were less than a hundred food trucks. Now there's more than 300 out there. For more information on our story, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on features and inside the story. So, so who would have thought? Fun to see her all these years later. <laughs> I know. She's still adorable. You remember her back then. I do. <laughs> fun. All right, Dan, thanks. All right.